This has indeed been a defining, de a defining moment in Canada's history. In Canada's history, in Inuit history, because this is a piece of Canada's unfinished business. And today, we have come closer to reconciliation, but we have a long way to go. We must also begin the whole rehabilitation process, as my colleagues have said, my leader Mary Simon and Peter Atomy. I went through the residential school system in Inuvik Northwest Territories. And the whole residential school experience was probably the most widespread and the most enduring because our first school was opened in 1926 and the last was closed in 1997. That's a long time. Today, approximately one in three Inuvialuit are survivors of the residential school system. And because of that, we have issues with uh, intergenerational impacts, loss of language, loss of parenting, loss of history, loss of relatives, loss of identity. These are the impacts of residential schools. We all know that. But what happened today was a recognition of our fundamental human rights as Inuit, that we can begin on an equal footing with our leaders like Mary Simon and Peter Atomy and Paul, many others that have worked so hard and I hope that um, the Prime Minister and this government will go the next step and demonstrate a real healing strategy uh, for Inuit. One that's catered to Inuit, not First Nations. We are not First Nations. We are Inuit because we have our own language, our own culture, our own geography, our own residential school history, our own residential school experience, and it's all different from First Nations history. And that must be made clear to the government of the day. They can no longer equivocate. They must understand that we too have issues in our communities, in each one of our communities, but what is important is that the Inuit have resilience. They have the ability to heal. We have the ability to survive. We've done it for thousands of years, and we're going to continue. From the Inuvialuit region, we have sitting in the audience the Lumsden Pokiak family, and they're here. as part of the Inuvialuit uh, representation. So I'm really happy that uh, they are here. Um, the Inuvialuit from our region share with you the joy of today. Because it is, as Mary said, a momentous moment in our history. And I hope that our young people will have the same opportunity uh, towards healing that uh, we are having today. Koyanamik, Ilanilu.